All right, what's up, everybody? It's week six of the BBZ. We got two lessons in one. I actually combined it. So in the lesson plan today, when you go to week six, which is 3-9, you're also going to look at the following week because I'm combining two things here. So let's come back at the theme song and get into this. I don't know why I'm balling up paper, but it's a lot going on, a whole lot we have to get into. So come on back because you're going to be jumping all over the place today, right after the theme song. bobbing my head to the theme song just like you are still got this balled up paper don't know why so this week what we're looking at is publishing on the web now i can't get very detailed and this is definitely one of those classes where i wish i it was a google hangout and we could talk back and forth and i could show you different things by sharing the screen with you but since we can't do that i'm going to be forcing you to jump around to a bunch of links that i'll be pointing to down here that'll take you to different videos so you can understand what's going on but what we're doing is publishing on the web so by now you probably have decided on a web hosting service or a blogging platform um, that you're going to use to build your website or that you're going to use to start blogging. Uh, this lecture is going to definitely require you to jump around a lot. So just be prepared for it. And when I point down here, go ahead and click it and go and watch that video and let this one just stay in the background. All right. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to what I call an introduction to web publishing tools. And that's what I'm doing right now, episode 23. It's right here. So click that, go and watch that video, and then come back. Now, um, hopefully what you're going to do is really watch these videos because you need to go to that video and click it and watch it because it's going to give you a lot of information that is relevant to what we're working on this week. Um, if you watch that, then you really have a gist of, you have an understanding of what we're working on. So the next video that I want you to watch is part two of the previous one, and that's right here. So click on that, go and watch that video, and then come back. So what we got to do now that you've had a moment to go in and watch both of those videos, which is probably going to take you about 15 minutes, of course. So now that you're back here, what you need to do is learn the interface of your dashboard. And what I'm doing in this instance is I'm going to be sharing a video from Troy Johnson at AALBC because he took care of a lot of this work for us earlier in the semester. And I'm simply going to refer you to that. But the additional coursework is from Troy Johnson. All right. And what he's talking about in that episode is that process of removing the index.html page or your home.html page and installing a content management system also. But you can go to the website on the BBZ website and watch it there, or you can click right here and go and watch that video. All right, and this is uh, basically setting up a website with Troy Johnson. The next video that you're gonna have to watch is installing WordPress or a content management system on a self-hosted website. And that's right here. So you can click this link and go and watch that video. Um, all of this information is pretty important. All four of these videos that you just watched, if you have any questions whatsoever after this, then definitely ask the questions. But that's a lot of information in those four videos. And uh, I'm hoping that you'll watch them and gain as much as you can from them. All right. So check those out and make sure you cover it. Now, the next part of the lesson plan was going to be talking about um, analyzing themes. Now, uh, I'm focused on WordPress. So when I say analyzing themes, that means that you can pick a theme. I'll put this down finally. You can pick a theme inside of WordPress. Now, I need to do a video and show you how to do that as well. Um, I think I'll add that maybe this weekend so you can come back and check it out. But a theme, what is a theme? A theme allows your blog to have a personality. Um, there are countless themes available, and 
I can't really do this section justice with just my words. What I recommend is that you take your time and play around with your site before making your site go live. So if you've just um, got a web hosting service and you've installed WordPress, then play around with the themes. Just pick different ones and then set them all up, make them look a certain way before you click the button that makes your website go live, okay? Um, next week's lecture, I'm combining here and I'm deciding to combine these two weeks because they are so closely related, related and to what we're working on. Sorry about that, my phone just rang. I'm requiring you to jump around and watch all of these videos to make sure you're understanding what's happening here. And this is a little bit disjointed. I hate that I'm doing this, but it's very important. This is a complex, a complex couple of weeks of work that you're working on this week. Um, I'm going to insert a video that shows you how to create content quickly if you're having a blogger's block, okay? Let's say you have something that you wanna write about and you're trying to write on your website every day, but you're having a difficult time doing that. Well, you can go to this video and it's gonna show you how to quickly use WordPress to create another blog post. And it's a very good video and I'll show you a website uh, I find a different article, I look at that website, and I use a feature that's called Press This. So click that video and go and watch that video and then come back to this video. So now that's like five different videos that you've had to click during this last six minutes. So this is the last part of the lecture and it's gonna be about plugins. Once again, um, paid plugins you can pay for or you can get free ones. This is not going to be as a concise uh, lesson as it could be because I need to do another video to show you how to choose a plugin and install that plugin. And if you want that video, make sure you write me and ask me because right now all I'm going to do is tell you what it is. A plugin is often created by a third party and can be installed into your content management system to make your blogging life easier. If you look at any of my sites, you'll see social media, sharing buttons, and then there's a whole lot of other plugins on the back end and inside of it like Yoast for SEO. Um, and it just makes your whole world simpler as a blogger. Um, you don't have to know any coding to put these um, buttons in for social media or to install Yoast. You simply have to find the plugin and install it. Now you can pay for it or you don't have to. And that's the bonus is that the plugins simplify your life without you having to know HTML to know coding, a CSS, a Java, or anything else. Um, the negative is that sometimes a plugin can be corrupt and it could damage your site, which will force you to go in and disable all of your plugins to find the culprit. I've had this happen once before, but it doesn't happen that often. And it's not that difficult to fix. All right. Um, that's really the extent of the lesson for this week. I'm gonna go over one more thing here and that's reviewing the basics of publishing your content on the internet. And what I'm going to say here is that I probably should have removed that topic without talking about it because it's very difficult to um, explain without giving you another video. Um, but you're gonna to have to learn how to set up a web presence and you're gonna to have to learn how to blog and how to post regular content to the web to get people to visit your website. Overall, what I want you to gain from this section is that the creation of content is one of the most important aspects of creating a business. It, it used to be that you could, you know, start a business and just worry, just put the information out there and then people will come and find you. But now with the um, social media kind of taking prominence over everything out there in the World Wide Web, you have to work extremely hard to get people to your site. All right. Um, if there isn't a reason for people to visit your website on a daily basis, you lose those people to social media. Blogging is a vital component in marketing and creating an organic reach. I know this was a busy lesson and it's up to nine minutes and there was a whole lot of clicking, but that is it for today's lecture. Please write me with any questions you have. Make sure you subscribe down here. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next week. If you haven't watched all of those videos, then Rewind back or go down here to the description and I'm going to set it up in a breakdown so you can click on the minutes to go and look at what you need to click on to make sure you've gotten the information you needed for this week. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. See you next Wednesday. Peace.